Happiness is objective. There are many different definitions. Freaking this shit again? All right, here we go. Um, we'll start off with this. Oh yeah, this is part two, by the way. This is the most recent one I got. This is pretty much K-On After Story. It's about how Azusa like, has to run the club after the others graduate. I haven't read it yet, but it looks pretty good, so I look forward to that one. This is about a girl, she's a cat, and there's a guy who's allergic to cats. Rolling, if you ask me. All right, let's get into this stuff. We'll start with Death Note the novel. Why would I read a freaking book? It's stupid. This is Death Note 13. It's gonna teach me how to read, but I already freaking learned that. When I was a child, I had the Jedi reader books. This is um, a graphic novel, actually. You can tell, by the way, that it's flipped. Um, this is a classic I got at the thrift store. Um, the art looks nice, but why the hell would you read an Evangelion manga? That's stupid. Color Beach. Where's the color? Oh. Summer Wars Part 1. I bought this, and then I was like, why aren't I just watching the movie? I've always meant to watch the movie, but I haven't. The manga looks pretty okay, but I'd rather watch the movie of freaking Love Hina. No. It's like the classic harem, I guess, but why? Frickin' Attack on Titan 1 and 2, I got these at the thrift store, and I was like, it's Attack on Titan, I, I don't care, I, I really don't care. This is one of the first manga I got, it's from the Battle Club, it's a classy story about a battle club. Do you want to take a look inside? Let's see if I can. I can't show you inside of these ones, you're gonna have to go take a look at that yourself. Alright, Bleach, I have a couple of these, like... I got them all at the thrift store pretty much, and I was like, it's Bleach. I of the big three, it's the most interesting one, but I, I don't really give a crap. It's Bleach, yay. We got Chobits, and if you don't like Chobits, you can read the rip off Deers. So you got options with that one, definitely. Freaking Bobo Bobo Bo. bo, bo, bo. You guys know the Afro man? It's pretty exciting. I got Death Note in every format in the world. I also got the black ones and then those, because I don't really care. Fairy Tale 1923, my favorite era in history in 28. I was like, I'll get some of my favorite moments in the show. Then I was like, well, well I'll just rewatch the show. It makes more sense and I don't have to buy Gundam Seed. As seen on television, well, that means I'm freaking in it to win it. Hey, the Combat Butler. I, I like the combat board and by throwing it out. Also this. It's about a freaking absolute douche, and I don't know, I don't I don't like this one at all, personally. I also got this whole series, Pretty Face. It's about a guy who gets in a bus accident and he turns into the girl he likes because he had a picture of her in his pocket. I actually haven't read it, but there was only six volumes, so I was like, might as well get it all and see what it is. And These albums are okay, but personally, I think I'd rather listen to these ones. Also, Hell Girl. It's about... I haven't read it because I don't like the eyes. I got this whole series at the thrift store, except for volume 5. So, almost complete. I, I don't know what it's about because I, I haven't read it, but it looks good. And it's been sitting on my bookshelf for three years. So that means something. Moon Phase. I don't know what it's about because I haven't read it. Missions of Love is about some girl who like... So I got two of these because I went to the comic store I was like, oh cool, the new volume's out. And then I was like, I went home and I was like, I already have this. There's like freaking 26 main characters in this one. And I, I don't... The art is okay. Whatever. Ugh. I, I, I'm okay, like for what it is, a shonen jump romance comedy, the art's nice and everything, but I watched some of the show and it's like, it has the same relationship dynamics as Toradora, except it's done horribly and put through this shitty anime filter. Pastel! I got this at the comic store, they were all wrapped, so I was like, I'll take a chance. I actually really like the art, I think the art is awesome. Really great designs and everything, and kind of like that realistic style. The only problem is I don't have the first seven, so I, I have no idea what happens in them. The freaking vampire one, or whatever, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I don't know, I haven't read these, man. This is like, I read these at the library before, and then I saw them at the comic store. Well, I saw this one, and I was like, I'll see. I mean, I like the art and everything, but it's, it's, not, it's not exactly exciting. 
Brave Master, the exciting story about the man who invented fairy tale and cannot come up with an original design. Well, I mean, that is an original design, but I meant that he ripped himself. Soul Eater, Volume 1. I, look at that eyes. Ugh, gross. Nasty, sick. Spice and Wolf, I, if I open this, there'll probably be a tit somewhere, so you can... I don't like the art style in the manga, by the way, and I also haven't watched the show, so I don't know why I bought that. This is, like, the epitome of a generic manga, pretty much. It, like, takes everything that's been done okay in other shows and mixes it together in this freaking ultimate boredom, absolute, just plain. The art is, like, super awesome. Like, it's really good. It's just that everything about it sucks, so... What would John say if he was here today? Would he be into Morning Mo or Monster Musume? I mean, I know he'd be a big Morning Musume fan, but what would John have to say about all this stuff? I guess we'll just have to ask him.